Welcome to our second diary entry, Fangirl Chic, where we're going to be making some dragon pox potion and doing a fun Harry Potter themed manicure. <laughs> so today we're doing a witch's brew that I've named a uh, dragon pox potion. Uh, we came up with this last year when we went to the Quidditch World Tournament and it consists of Bacardi's Dragonberry Rum, Cran Cherry Juice, and Sprite. I did one full portion of the Sprite, half of the cranberry, and then we'll put in half of the same portion as the cranberry in the mix. <laughs> it's going to be very sweet, but then the cranberry will soften that up with its tartness. And even though it tastes delicious, it's really, really dangerous. Kind it of is. like dragons. <laughs> <laughs> like dragons. Exactly. <laughs> so just like dragons, really careful. I'm going to pour a little bit more rum. Delicious. The dragonberry is um like strawberry infused alcohol, mm. so it, it like tastes that. very sweet. It's dragonberry fruit and strawberry. Ready, ladies? Ready. Yes. And just as a friendly reminder, don't try this at home unless you're 21 and over. Puffle puff. Thank you. Our pink Gryffindor. Thank you. And our Slytherin. Cheers, Cheers, girls! Cheers. Today I'm going to be doing a Gryffindor manicure using two Essie shades. Shifting Power will be the gold and the red is Aperitif. And as an accent nail, I'm going to be using Fandom Cosmetics decals in Deathly Hollows. Okay, so for my Gryffindor Manny, I decided to do something a little bit different. I did a base in Shifting Power, which is the gold. Um, and then I'm going to do little half moons using the red aperitif. And I don't really use anything to block it off. I just kind of do it naturally. And try to go slowly and with as steady as a hand as I possibly can and it gives a nice, fun half moon effect. And if you want, you can make the top part matte or you can leave it all shiny. It's all up to you. I did everything shiny. So I used a green from Simple Colors for my thumb as an accent nail, and that's where I'm going to put the Deathly Hollows decal. Um, this one will actually be matte when I'm done. But for now, I'm gonna try to center it as much as possible. Oops. Here we go. Again, it doesn't really have to be perfect. And I'm going to add a matte coat using Sally Hansen's big matte coat. Just to give it a little bit more depth. I'm going to be doing a Hufflepuff theme manicure with Sunny Days from Rimmel and Black on Black from Simple Colors. I'm also going to do a accent nail with the Deathly Hollows decal from Fandom Cosmetics. For the Hufflepuff themed manicure, I am using Sunny Days from Rimmel on four out of my five nails because I'm going to be using the Black on Black for my accent nail. So here is the end product of my Hufflepuff themed manicure with the Deathly Hollows sticker from Fandom Cosmetics which was very easy to apply and sticks right away and that gives absolutely no problems. I absolutely love it. My mani was done. It's Essie's Waltz. 
So I have a clean white canvas to put my decals on, which are the Harry Potter glasses and scar and the nine and three quarters decal. For my manicure, I used designer nails from Etsy's decals. Um, I'm seeing they're a little more difficult to use than the decals the other girls are wearing. With these, you have to cut them out individually from the pack that is sent, and then you have to dip them in water for about 30 seconds. You bring that out, and then that decal goes on to your nail, as you can see here. You dip it in the water, and then you place it on your nail. I'm using tweezers, but you don't have to. You could also just adhere it with your, your hand, your fingers. The problem with this is that it's not a sticker and it's not a decal that removes from the plastic it's brought in. Um, the actual plastic goes on your nail and I'm seeing that it doesn't go on as seamless as I would like. And then once it dries off on your nail, you have to put a top coat over. But the end product is not as pretty as the other girls with their decals. As you can see on this one, the edges are lifting. I haven't put the top coat on, but it, this one's not sticking down enough for me to be able to put it on. These two, uh, I put the top coat and this little corner is still lifting as well. When I go to the Phantom Cosmetics decal, it went on perfectly and nothing's peeling off. It was a lot easier to uh, work with and it looks a lot better. So in conclusion, we think that Phantom Cosmetics is a superior product by far, just as LC. <laughs> they were very easy to put on, they're seamless, um, they look great, and from experience, I already posted on my personal blog, Maleficent.com, um, I wore their TARDIS decals from MegaCon in Orlando, and they were great, they lasted, they lasted a good five days before starting to chip away. So they're a great product, they're only $3.50 for a set of 10, which I think is amazing. Um, in comparison to Elsie's decals, which were about five plus shipping. I think that would be much. Okay. So the best part about Phantom Cosmetics is that they're made by fans for fans. So you'll find all sorts of fandoms, including Sherlock, Loki, Hunger Games, uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, whatever you can imagine, they have. And everything is vegan and cruelty free. So thumbs up from the fangirls to Phantom Cosmetics. We love you!